What's up, YouTube? It's Jared from One Earth Mushrooms. It's pretty early in the morning. The kids are still sleeping. I snuck out to the garage to try to film some footage. Uh, so I'm looking pretty shaggy, and I'm sorry about that. Actually, I'm not sorry. I don't care. Uh, I'm sure you guys aren't here to watch me. So I have been doing this Lion's Mane Mushroom Project, and I have fully colonized grain spawn. I'm ready to move over to a fruiting block. So today I'm going to be building a enriched hardwood fruiting block. I'm using hardwood fuel pellets and wheat bran, and that should give us a pretty good growing environment for our mines. All right, let's get right into it. The materials that I use for this project are hardwood pellets, and these are oak and apple wood, some water, and I'm just using regular tap water, wheat bran, a measuring cup, some gypsum powder, my kitchen scale, a bucket to mix things in, and a filtered, gusseted grow bag. And of course, our fully colonized grain spawn. Since I live in Hawaii and people don't really have a need to heat their houses here, it's pretty hard to find wood pellets locally, so I ended up buying these on Amazon. They weren't too expensive, but I imagine you could get them much cheaper than I did if you're buying locally. For each five pound fruiting block, we're gonna use five cups of our hardwood pellets. And I know you guys are used to seeing me use a scale for everything, but on this project, I'm mostly just using a measuring cup. I used five cups of pellets and six cups of water. Now you could use hot water and that might speed things up. I just use regular tap water. And I'm gonna let this soak for about half an hour. You need to be able to hydrate the inside of the pellets so that they break up really easily. While the pellets are soaking, I'm measuring out my gypsum powder. And I had intended on using 5% by weight. Um, so for a five pound block, that would be 113 grams. But I ran out of gypsum powder. So my end product ends up being about two and a half percent by weight, which, you know, not a huge deal. Gypsum powder is not a required component, but it does help provide some nutrients for the mycelium and it is gonna help with growth in the future. So if you have enough gypsum powder to do 5% and you're doing a similar project, I recommend using it. And I mixed in one and a quarter cups of wheat bran. That's gonna provide a lot of nutrients for our mycelium and help our fungus grow a lot better. After half an hour, I came back to the soaked pellets and you can see they're still pretty chunky, so it's gonna take me a little bit to mix them up. I probably could have let it sit a little bit longer, but I got impatient, so I decided just to spend my time and mix it up by hand. I'm gonna get all the big chunks out though, so it should be a fairly even consistency. I added the gypsum powder and wheat bran mix to the hardwood pellets, which I guess we can just call sawdust at this point and I mixed it up really well. So I'm giving it a squeeze test here and this looks like it's maybe a little bit wetter than some other videos I've seen out there, but honestly, it feels dry enough that it's not gonna cause problems. So I'm gonna go with it. Now I'm loading everything into my gusseted filter bag and I'm gonna try to shape it into somewhat of a block here and then fold my gusseted bag so that the filter is on the inside. 
And I want it on the inside because I don't want a lot of the water from pressure cooking to enter the bag. And just to see how close we came, I'm weighted out and it looks like I'm just over five pounds. I'm putting rubber bands on, uh, hoping to try to keep the top from swelling up too much while I'm pressure cooking it. And honestly, if you have a good weight to put inside your pressure cooker, that stuff's not really necessary. And I don't think I'll do it again. Uh, you can see the weight I used here was a old pan that had busted the handle had busted off and you'll see later why this is a bad idea and why I really should just find a weight that fits so I pressure cooked this for two and a half hours at 15 psi and that's to kill off everything that's in our substrate so hardwood substrates are a little bit different than other bulk substrates uh, Usually we'd pasteurize a bulk substrate instead of sterilize, but with hardwood, since it can be so dense and you could have bacteria and spores buried deep inside wood chips, you really got to sterilize everything. And if you can see in the back there, my pan that I was using as a weight slid off the top of the fruiting block and it was kind of just hanging out on the side of the pressure cooker, which honestly is a little bit dangerous because if the bag swells up enough it could plug the pressure gauge which would take away your visual indication of pressure inside the cooker and it could also plug the safety valve and or the vent which could ultimately end up in your pressure cooker exploding i took the lids off my colonized grain spawn and i dumped the grain spawn into a jar so i could break it up And despite mycelium being so wispy in lion's mane, you can see it holds together really well. It creates a pretty tightly bonded block of mycelium here. I'm just breaking this up so there's no big chunks and unfortunately my camera died while I was filming in the stiller box and I didn't notice until I came out so I missed filming the step where I poured the grain into the bag but I'm sure you can imagine me taking cups of colonized grain spawn and dumping it into the bag I sealed the top of the bag with an impulse sealer and then I mixed everything up really well one thing I do need to figure out for the next time I make a block like this is how to not get my substrate all over the filter patch. I don't want contamination starting on the back side of the filter patch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I'm releasing videos every three days and I'm really excited to have you guys along with me on this journey. I've learned a lot already and I hope you guys are learning a little bit from the stuff that I'm learning too. We'll see you around next time. Thanks.